Hello, I've arrived. Artist, archivist, VTuber, and tonight. Guy who put a slightly weird inflection on his intro for some reason. I guess it's not that weird, but it's out of the ordinary for me. Hello. Yes. Wait, hold on. Uh, you can call me Tiberius Vanderfield. I didn't mean to leave you without a... a name to refer to me with. Anyway, Ark Knights. Yes. So we're playing Ark Knights tonight. Yes. Let's see. Not a whole lot else to be said. Yeah. We're looking to a collab next week, ideally. Yes. Talk to chefs about that. And we're going to try to aim for Saturday. Because, uh, because of circumstances, you know, didn't, weren't able to do it this week because of circumstances, and we're going to be doing a different day next week because of circumstances, you know how it is. Or perhaps you don't. I don't know. It is how it is, and that is all that there is to be said, I suppose. But yes, anyway, as I was saying, Ark Knights. And I guess not a whole lot else. So, no more streams this week. Next week, we are planning on a stream on Wednesday, 8.30 p.m. Central Time, more Arc Nights. And then on Saturday, next week, I think probably we'll have to nail down the time a little bit more precisely. So, if I remember correctly, yeah, if I remember correctly from talking to chefs, we did say sometime after what would be 8 Central Time. I don't know if I mentioned uh, that the 8.30 p.m. is in Central Time. But yes, anyway. So, that is that. This is this. Arc Knights. Yes, once again, no, uh, no Operator Spotlight today. Didn't have time to get one prepared. It is what it is. Let's see. I feel like there's other things I should be mentioning, but I can't think of any off the top of my head, so I'm going to assume that we're fine and we're just going to get into things. Video games. But yes, anyway. One thing that is worth noting is the stream might be a little bit short. Might be a little bit short today because I am a little bit tired. I didn't get great sleep last night, unfortunately. Not awful, but yeah, I did, uh... I did wake up in the middle of the night for a little while, but yeah. Um, I don't know. I still feel like there's something I should be mentioning, but if it's not, if I can't remember what it is, evidently it wasn't that important. He says, unaware. Tip. Yes. Last we left off, we saw Gabriel get in a fight as she is wont to do. But yes, we also saw some recent renovations made to a to the temple and sort of got a hint that things have probably changed a whole lot more than Gaviel was expecting. But yes, now we begin a tutorial. Gotta love those. Giant Mushroom. Yeah, I alluded to the giant mushrooms and their mechanical significance last time. Now we're going to see a little bit more about them. I was thinking about this before. Can we seriously not do something about all these giant mushrooms? Oh, Gaviel, I know what, you, what we can do. Send out some of my underlings. But yes. We've got a lot of, we've all got a lot of experience dealing with these giant mushrooms. Oh yes, indeed. Yeah, some of these stages will have a special unit that you can deploy to chop down the giant mushrooms. Once the giant mushrooms are gone, our long-range fighters can stand on the wooden stumps. Wait, aren't these your underlings? Why are they wearing Rhodes Island clothes? Oh, um, because the doctor asked to hire a few of them before we went into the rainforest. I mean, of course. If they're going to be working for us, they need to be properly compensated. It's only right. But yes, anyway, now we have Jessica. That's the doctor for you. Even thought this much through, huh? I guess these guys count as temporary Rhodes Island employees now. 
<laughs> Let's not waste the power of our temps then. Forward. But yeah, so. Okay, good job, Jessica. And whoops. Yeah, so Temporary Roads Island employees are melee units. They are specialized in attacking mushrooms. But yeah, not a whole, whole lot to be said about them, I don't think. So I suppose we will simply let our casters do the talking. Probably should have, if we're going to have enemies bunching up towards the front there, probably would have been best if we had uh, deployed lava a little bit faster, but oh well. I'm a little bit worried uh, that we're not going to get all of these slugs, but I guess, no, we're fine. This is fine. I don't know that the... Yeah, I don't think that the temporary Rhodes Island employees... Well, I guess we're not ever going to know, but at least not now. But yes, I don't know that they're capable of fighting in any normal way. I would assume not. I would assume that they are mostly just there for the sake of being a mechanic. But yes. All right, moving on. I assume this is probably going to be a stage in which we have giant mushrooms to deal with. All right, so let us begin. Doctor, I took a quick stroll around. Didn't, didn't seem like there were any others. Looks like we're going to ha have to head back into the rainforest to look for her bunch after this. Cry a victory. Oh, Pedo won. This Pedo's pretty good. Makes me want to rumble with him, actually. Mm-hmm. He's one of my tribe's warriors. But he's definitely not as good as you, Gaviel. <laughs> Easy enough to say. Come on, Gaviel. You already came so close to becoming Great Chief over when we were a fiddle. Like you could lose the Pedo. When you were little? Hmm? Oh yeah, that one time. I was super young. Thought the idea was so cool, I actually went in for the ceremony once. Yeah, and you were already so super strong by then. Gah. So that's all you wilderness wills amount to. So strong. <laughs> all our warriors taken down like nothing. Let's go in together. We can't. No number at once will be enough. Can we only give up? Who else wants to challenge me? If you're all done, then it's just me versus the Great Chief. I do. And your Wilderness Will's orphan, Gaviel? I heard you're a terror among the kids, but kids don't join the ceremony. Run back home and drink your milk. You've got a few more years. Hmm. Let's see who wins first. Ha! You really are an, or are an orphan. You don't fear death? My tribe's people are my family. Cut it out. You want to go or not? It's your funeral, brat. Impossible. Just two punches. Gaviel's so strong. Hmm. I guess that's all, then. Who else wants some? Very Gaviel. Gaviel was an orphan? Didn't she ever tell you? Didn't I? Eh, I guess I didn't, but it's not like it was important enough to come up. Don't know who my parents were, but that's not all these ra all that rare in these parts. Doctor, it might not make sense to you, but death is pretty common out here. It doesn't even take a catastrophe, honestly. Nobody here even knows what catastrophes are. Single cold or about a bad weather can kill off folks who would have lived otherwise. I guess my parents just went like that. Ugh, let's quit this talk. All you need to know is the tribe raises me. Gaviel. At least you're healthier than anyone now. Healthy is maybe a strong word for it, considering that she is infected. But, she is definitely stronger. <laughs> yeah. So, how'd that ceremony back then turn out? That one, uh... Found you, you gosh darn bounty hunter! Who's that? Huh? 
I know that voice. Give the doctor back. What? What are you talking about? Okay. Mimi, didn't we tell your people to tie her up and take her back to the tribe? Um, I thought we did. <sighs> She's real strong. Kid must have just plowed past everyone. Bounty Hunter, hand the doctor over. Or else I'm going to chase you to the end of the world if I have to. Smartest girl ever. Looks like she still hasn't even sobered up. She sent Peta flying. She finished Peta off. She's insanely strong. Where'd that weirdo come from? Which tribe is she? No idea. I don't even understand what she's saying. Forget it. All we gotta do is beat her, right? Ugh. Now they think Kay's the new challenger, don't they? Gaviel, should we go in and help? No, nah, wait. The dumb little kid is way tougher than you'd think. We can handle this. If we go in, we're just gonna add to the body count. But something tells me this this might get messy. Doctor, see if you can help Tomimi's lackey get, lackeys get this under control. Alright, get this under control we shall. Obviously, Gaviel was still Gaviel when she was young. But yes. So, for the mushrooms, it's worth keeping in mind, of course, that they do provide a defense bonus while they're still standing. So, depending on circumstances, you might not necessarily want to eliminate all of them. Definitely a little bit worried that maybe we would want to deploy a more standard Vanguard. I don't know why I switched off of having, like, a Pioneer Vanguard. Um, I think we'll... We've really been doing a lot of good work with Estelle, so I think we're just going to keep that up, honestly. But yes. The slugs over here don't seem to be a huge, huge deal. I'm assuming that's probably just because we're, you know, pretty early into this. Alright, how do we want to swing this? I suppose having Gaviel positioned thusly could be good. Having a little bit more damage on this lane here would also be nice. I'm a little bit worried that we're going to see more Impalers, though, honestly, that's probably not a huge, huge concern. Of course, I do, I do need to actually uh, make sure that we have some coverage on this lane, because I wasn't paying very close attention there. So yes, we don't currently have any Splash Casters. Which is maybe a little bit of a problem, but maybe not a huge problem. Okay, no, we do have Impalers. Or I don't know if that's the Impalers specifically, but it's a ranged unit, at the very least. So yeah, so Jessica's not going to last very long there, unfortunately. And yes, the enemies do seem to be ignoring... <laughs> yeah, they do seem to be ignoring our temporary workers. But yes, one way or the other, we do need a lot more damage on this middle row. Hang in there, I'm coming. I don't know, maybe... Okay, I was going to say maybe not that much more, but... Uh, yeah, things did uh, take a pretty dramatic turn for the worse there, and we are going to lose. Run! So, let's try that again. So yes, having a splash caster, or at least any source of AoE damage, would probably have been majorly helpful there. But another thing would have just been having more range units sooner. Given the sheer numbers of enemies, we might have actually also thought about using Fire Whistle. But yeah, the other, the other lane more or less handled itself. I don't think we really needed to have our units placed as far back as they were, 
Estelle probably could have gone a lot further forward. We did just fine with just Myrtle. Again, I think the issue was just not having the right units in the right places at the right times. Yeah, Estelle will probably manage on her own still. And I don't think there's any real major revisions that we need to do at this point. There's no turning back now. Yeah, so, Myrtle. Here, don't need to concern myself with whether or not the temporary Rhodes Island employees will get attacked, because they won't, as far as we can tell. I do... Hmm, okay. One thing that is... Right, okay. So having seen what is happening now, I can see why we uh, deployed... Uh, okay, now we're good. I was going to say, I see now why we deployed Estelle as we did. And I was worried there that we weren't going to, uh, yeah, that deploying Matoi Maru was going to be a problem, but uh, we should be fine on that. But yes. Oh, hold on. I just realized we put our temp in the wrong place. Unfortunate. Yes, Matoi Maru can continue on for a good while, I think. We don't need to worry about her anytime soon. But yes, having more range faster is good. Of course, now we, we've we done a thing that's maybe not ideal, and we've left this mushroom unchoppable. Alright. Matoi Maru might not have much life left in her. Um, I should have retreated her. Or deployed a medic, but you know. Anyway. Um, Estelle. Oh, uh, hmm. Okay, we have... Alright. In my foolishness, I have, uh, let things get way, way out of hand. So. Yeah, okay. So yes, things were going pretty okay there. But yeah, my desire to deploy Estelle in a different location without really any consideration for whether that location would be good uh, really did bad things to us there. But yeah, of course, also there was the issue of Myrtle. Yeah, we needed more... We needed to deploy another unit near Myrtle for more blocking. I don't think we're going to have issues with Myrtle generating DP, but we might want to consider having another Vanguard. But yeah, we'll give it another try. It doesn't need to be a good, a good run. It just needs to be good enough. No and of course, deploying our temp properly would also be ideal. So yeah, Myrtle. Here, Myrtle down. Yes, need to make sure that I am placing our temps in the right place. But yes, Estelle is fine back here, I suppose. Again, I kind of wanted her somewhere else, but it is what it is. Yeah, again, we don't have the luxury of having AoE damage, which is a bit of a concern. But it's not that much of a concern, especially since we do have the luxury of having AoE damage, just in a somewhat more limited capacity. But yes. Now we do have to consider how we want to swing this, though. So yeah, so I think a good thing to do... I'll pause for a moment so I can have time to talk and think. But yes. So I think having say, Perfumer here could be good. Possibly deploying some guards or something of the sort down on this lane. But yeah, one way or another, I want to have medics in place to be able to, you know, heal units up here, but also 
field down here perhaps a little bit, or at the very least have units here to take some of the heat off of the casters and whatnot that I intend to deploy over around here. Of course, we probably don't need to concern ourselves that, with it that much on the top. And in fact, we probably don't need a medic at all on top, honestly. But yes, Estelle is uh, something of a beast, so we can more or less just let her let her cook, as they say. But yes, she is strong enough with her rather high level to just destroy things. Yeah, she is strong enough to simply destroy things, and she is uh, able to heal herself when she does. So she's pretty, pretty self, self-sustaining. I do want Kaabe. I'm a little bit worried about this, but I guess the defense buff is pretty strong. I no, I guess we're we're fine. I don't need to worry about the bottom lane very much. Because, yeah, I was thinking what would be, you know, safest for, yeah, what would be safest for uh, whoever I deployed there. But, again, it's not a huge deal. But, yeah, we are over, or I am overthinking a little bit because we are, yeah. Yes, we are quite strong. One thing that I, you know, forgot is that most of our units are, well, actually, now that I think about it, the recommended level was... Past Elite 1, wasn't it? But yes. Fire Whistle more or less is holding the middle on her own, really. But yes, a singular shot from her from her Yes, a singular shot from her mortar is enough to take out quite a few slugs, assuming that it's buffed. Ooh. Okay, apparently even assuming that it's not. But yeah. More or less a non-issue. Might as well uh, deploy someone else, though, I suppose. Just for just for the sake of it, if nothing else. You might get some stronger enemies up over there. Estelle is probably at a point where she's not strictly necessary anymore. The Astasia is doing great. But yeah, we're we're uh, we're fine. I think we're good. But yes, that is that is definitely a very substantial defense bonus, considering that Kaabe is level one and taking effectively negligible damage. We'll deploy Crossleaf just to wrap things up a little bit faster. All right, easy peasy. All right, so. All right, so yes, now the after story. <clears throat> but yes, it was Elite 1 level 20, as I had suspected. But yeah, I do know from having looked at the wiki a little bit more recently, I do know now that enemies, for a while, yeah, or for more context, I should say. For a while, I had assumed that enemies' levels were sort of scaled to whatever the recommended level was. That say, you could have a, an enemy at level 1, and an enemy at level 20, and an enemy at level Elite 1, level 40, or something like that, in the same way that the stats of operators go up, you know, by... <clears throat> yeah, go up as they level up. But uh, yeah, enemies do not level up quite that granularly. There are enemies, and then there are, you know, there are stronger variants of those enemies, sometimes with the same appearance, sometimes with a slightly different appearance. But, um, but yeah, they don't change that much. So an enemy that does, you know, decent damage to you, to your level one character, on a stage that recommends a level one, or... Yeah, that has a recommended level of 1, for instance. If you encounter that same enemy on a stage that recommends a level Elite 1 20, yeah, that same enemy isn't necessarily going to be substantially stronger. They might. They might. Again, it does. they do have stats that do increase, but only if they have a specific, like, discrete 
higher level form, basically, in the game. Whereas, again, I had assumed that it was... The stats just increased by some formula as the recommended level increased. Yeah. This weirdo's way too strong. She's beaten back so many of us already. I still don't get what she's saying, but she's no joke. I reckon she'd make a fine great chief. Gaviel, your friend's really strong. He sure is a pain at, the, at times like this, though. I think we finally hit a lull. I'm gonna go up there and restrain her. You! Reunion! You're back! So, you were the ones who took the doctor. You won't get away. Oh, you dumb. <laughs> She's gonna escape again. I'm going after her. Tell Mimi, you and the doctor stay put. I'll come back and find you. Uh, okay. Alright. It is just us now. I get the feeling Tomimi's not going to be super pleased to talk to us. Oh. There's another fight starting. Doctor, could you tell me what Gavial is like on the outside? <laughs> Kabe, this is why we tell you not to just put everything you find in your mouth. Indeed. But yes, Kabe is definitely... The most dog-like of the Paro operators. By by far. Yeah, it's good to see you again, TVPG. Thanks for stopping by. Hmm. Let's tell her about Gaviel as a doctor, I suppose. Her life at Rhodes Island does involve her being a doctor, and her being a doctor does involve her living at Rhodes Island, but... Let's focus on the doctoring, I suppose. That's great. Even if she's a doctor, Gaviel's still Gaviel. That's good to know. Gaviel hasn't changed. What a relief. So, if Gaviel decided to leave you one day, how would you feel? I'd be sad, for sure. Mm -hmm. I cried a lot when it happened, too. Doctor, I'm... Um, about Gaviel. I'm... I'm not gonna let her... Let you take her from me. <laughs> and I won't let you take her from me. So, how did that ceremony back then turn out? Um, that one. Oh, what? You call me a kid and this is all you've got? Who else is going to challenge me? She beat a lot of fighters more experienced than her. Gaviel, you rule! Wild to say, but could she be the next great chief? I'll take you on. Oh, what are you doing here, Zumama? Weren't you busy building your machines? Every time I went looking for you, you ignored me. I decided to come and see, in the end. See what? See if my fist could beat you or not? You say that like you want to get killed dead. Enough talk. I'm not losing to you today, Gaviel. Hey, you won't know until you've tried. An epic confrontation. They fought from noon until night without settling anything. No winner, no loser. They went until they'd used all their strength, and afterwards, both of them got dragged off by the others. That's the story of the first time Gaviel joined the ceremony. What kind of person is Zumama? Umama was someone from a different tribe, but she was fairly close. Back when they were young, she and Gaviel fought a lot. Gaviel was stronger than her, but it wasn't like Zumama never won. But then Gaviel said Zumama just stopped caring about fighting for some reason. She started researching machines instead. And I remember that day was the last time Zumama and Gaviel ever fought. After that, Zumama barely showed her face anywhere. Eventually, her tribe moved away, and I never saw her again. Not even at that final mess of a ceremony before Gaviel left. She never came. I'm back. Gaviel, you're okay, right? I'm fine. <laughs> He's got not quite the pair of legs. Just ran off and disappeared out of sight. Well, you'd kind of need that to be... <laughs> to take you across the whole continent and back. 
But knowing how well she can fend for herself, I'm not worried. Amimi, did you mama get here yet? Not yet. Who else will challenge me? I will. Hmm? Looks like I came back at just the right time. Alright. So, it looks like this is, uh... Yeah, this is a stage that I have not, uh, fully, or beaten properly before. So yes, we are now getting towards the end of where I, where I left us off. Or, well, left myself off. Back when I was playing, uh, when I was playing through Great Chief Returns casually. Sit. So yes. Bum, 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 bum. So yeah. Whoop. Let us do the story, and then let us do the map. Unectes! Unectes! Go get them, Unectes! Great chief! Great chief! Unectes, marry me! Well, look who showed up. Unectes. I thought you were going to hide in that little rainforest of yours, too scared to show up. And you're too afraid to come visit? <laughs> you're all cowards for holding up in your rainforest. We'll find out right now if that really makes me a coward. Well, even with all those weird gadgets, Zumama hasn't changed one bit. Oh, right. Doctor, I never told you about her, did I? That girl in the arena is Zumama. We aren't from the same tribe, but we live pretty close to each other. Plus, we're about the same age, so you could say we grew up together. But yes, we had just been informed by Tomimi. She doesn't talk much, but she handles herself in a fight. She started acting kind of weird at some point, though. I mean, she was still pretty tough, but she was always tinkering with stuff all by herself. Her tribe moved away not long after that, and we didn't see each other much anymore. Where it is, she's as strong as ever, but she came with some weird, down with some weird disease and started talking to herself. I looked into the symptoms back at Rhodes Island. It sounded like some kind of mental illness, but she looks pretty normal to me right now. I was half expecting her to come to the last ceremony, but too bad she never did. And now she's here, calling herself Unectes. Who would have thought? Anyway, you s now that she's here, you see that guy up there? Probably done for. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I knew it. She did get stronger. Now I really want to fight her. Your mama is strong. There's no doubt about that, but... Hmm? Who are those guys over there? Unectes, we'll challenge you. Who are you? I'm the leader of the Raging Flames, Uda. I'm the leader of the Scars, Aruna. All right, you lot, get her. Are all of you ganging up on me? Yeah, that's right. Our tribe's got a little, uh... What do you call those again? It's a pact, you dimwit. The, that's right, a pact. If you want the throne, you'll have to go through us. I wasn't expecting it to be a walk in the park, but I did know you could be so unified. What's that got to do with you? <laughs> and a great chief who's always tinkering with widgets? You can bet I have a problem with that. You're allowed to bring people with you to the ceremony? Hmm? Oh, yes, that's allowed. Most folks fight one-on-one -on -one out of pride, but the only rule rule the ceremony's got is that you can do whatever it takes to win, and whoever ends up with and whoever that ends up winning will become the great chief. Obviously, bringing your lackeys with you is the best way to get that done. Sounds like I could become the great chief. <laughs> Doctor, I hate to break it to you, but you don't have what it takes. I did say there's no rules, but the, it's not what you're thinking. The folks here are pretty simple. The only thing they can think of is to bring lots of people with them, no matter what it, what it is they're trying to do. No one here would even think of pulling any dirty tricks. Honestly, even after my years with Rhodes Island, I've still got no idea how to go about that, how to go do that kind of stuff. Yep, besides, fighting as a group has its own risks. <laughs> That's right, they might just start infighting afterwards, happens all the time. But, on the flip side, that does mean you can do whatever it takes for you to win, and you're free to try. 
But I'm sure you're just going to get yourself beaten up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like people here lead a simple life. Yeah, it wasn't until I left that I found out just how simple things were back home. I used to think everyone everywhere would be just like us. Well, Doctor, I do think you'd be able to pull it off and still keep it under wraps, but uh, there's one thing that separates you from the rest of them. You know what that is? Muscle? <laughs> exactly. Look how weak you are. Anyway, I'll get right down to it. If you want to be the Great Chief, there's actually just one requirement that you've got to meet. You just gotta be strong enough to put a, up a good fight. Right, Tamimi? Hmm? Yeah, yeah. This is strange, though. When I remember, those two aren't exactly best friends. I didn't expect to see them working together. Hmm. They probably became friends after you left. Yeah, could be. Hmm? Tamimi, didn't you say Zumama is her tribe's leader? Where are her people? Huh? Now that you mention it, I don't see a lot of people from her tribe. Look, the ones dressed differently over there should be from her tribe. Well, they all look pretty well equipped, but that's not a whole lot of them. <laughs> She's following in my footsteps and trying to take them all down by herself, isn't she? Now that's what I'm talking about. That reminds me, Tamimi. I thought you said you were going to fight. Huh? Yeah, but I'm in no rush. Your mama's tough. The Scars won't stand a chance against her, so I'll join in after she wears herself out on them. <laughs> You've gotten smarter, Tamimi. <laughs> I'm pretty serious about becoming the Great Chief. Uh, besides... Besides what? Oh, let's talk later. They're about to get started. Alright. Now, can we improve upon... Where I was... Mm, three years ago? Four years ago? I don't remember when this event came out specifically. Pretty early on, but... Probably. The answer is almost certainly. Robotic Roar. So, mushrooms, but not quite as much of an emphasis on them this time. Yes, the hounds are waiting patiently, it would seem, or at least for a little while. But that means that there's plenty of time for our good friend, Estelle. But yes, so we've got another spear thrower. I don't think that's a somewhat different one than what we've been seeing earlier. But yes, and we do have some bushes, so yes, so those will protect our operators from ranged attacks. But yeah, we're going to want to do something up top at some point. Though precisely what eludes me. I wonder if the defense... I wonder if the defense increases from the mushroom stack. I feel like probably not. Yes, Myrtle can do okay where she is. But yes, we're definitely going to want to deploy a non-Myrtle unit, though. That's sooner rather than later, ideally. I suppose we could... You know what? I've been using non-Gabiel medics, and there's nothing necessarily wrong with that. But this is the Gabiel of that. Hello there, awesome 0169. Oh, yes. Yeah, like I was saying, nothing necessarily wrong with using non gavial medics. Oh, but, yes, did you roll for the new operators? I did once. But yes, I got uh, grain buds. But yeah, I usually don't focus a whole lot on rolling. Uh, I'm more focused on the, the story currently. But yes, Pikoa Ruth. Ah, okay, so arch damage users. So yeah, so that's something that we're going to need to keep in mind. But yeah, so we did a 10 roll last stream. I don't make a habit of rolling on stream, so probably I'm not going to be doing it again. But yes, the Ritualist is not a huge concern for us here. 
Though I'm... I don't remember what quite they are like once they get in close. They do physical damage, like they said. Or like the game said. But yes, in that way, they are not dissimilar to Tomimi herself. But yes, Gabriel's just outside of range for me to be able to place anyone up on this range tile on the top left. But yes, a little bit more damage would be good. So let's do a little bit more damage. Hmm. Okay, so they do a fair amount of damage, actually. So, of course, the very low defense that, uh, the very low defense that Matoi Maru has isn't doing her any favors here. Hmm. So, yes. So, placing a defender there would probably not be great, because then we'd lose out on a lot of damage. Um, but I don't want Perfumer to go down if I can avoid it. I suppose she's, you know, she's valuable in, in the utility that she provides. So if she's not providing utility, she's not providing value. Um, the Ritualists are fairly strong. Come on, get it together. But yeah, they're not overwhelmingly powerful or anything, but they are quite strong. So yeah, so... If we are going to be seeing more of them, probably Matoi Maru is not the best choice. Hmm, they are... Okay, they are... <laughs> Alright, they're stronger than I had uh, anticipated, so... Let's rethink things a little bit. So yes, so it looks like... Oh dear. They are quite strong. Hmm. If you want treatment, you gotta okay. So, I'm thinking we're probably going to want to deal with them before they uh, become a problem. Yes. Okay. So, yes, our units on the bottom here are not providing us any utility, so we should swap them out. Yeah, I was worried about... Hmm. Yeah, that's why Mar is not doing great. She's not doing awful, though. And I think we have enough healing on her that we'll make it through. And even if we didn't, we've got a whole lot of other options. So yes, so that was a pretty clean one. Man, those guys were weak. I regret not giving them a few whacks with the staff here. Hmm. But yeah, I do want to spend a little bit more time considering. So yeah, so they did a good amount of damage. Now, obviously, we didn't deploy a whole lot of units with a whole, whole lot of defense. But even once we did deploy, say, Fire Whistle, who admittedly doesn't have amazing defense for a defender. But yeah. Hmm. But yeah, having higher defense units when Ritualists are on the field would probably be good. Quorum might be able to... Hmm. Actually, I feel like what we probably would want... And this is just kind of conjecture, but I feel like it would be good if we had, say, a... Uh, I think we've only got the one currently available, but um, if we had, say, Cement, a, yeah, a single unit uh, defender... Yeah, so we'd get both the benefits of having high attack and high defense and high HP. As opposed to Matoi Maru having only high attack and high HP. Because yeah, Matoi Maru didn't last a whole whole lot longer than Fire Whistle. But yeah, and I feel like the main reason why she survived a little bit longer, well for one thing, well, no, I was going to say she had two medics around here, but she didn't. We had Perfumer, who was the only one who could heal her where she was. Um, but yeah, she had the added benefit of only being only being able to block one Ritualist at a time. So their high physical damage, you know, they can only do physical damage when they're close. 
So having them able to pass you by is probably good if you have okay attack or okay, de yeah, only have okay or low defense. So yeah, they gain defense when blocked and deal physical damage with melee attacks. Yeah, the way it was phrased as them doing uh, doing physical damage when they're close made me think for a moment that it might just be proximity based, but I'm assuming that it probably it's probably just when they are blocked they deal physical damage. That's it. <laughs> but yes. So. I think we'll go through the after story and then we'll wrap things up a little bit short like I mentioned but eh, we can probably do a little bit more after this she, she's strong you're not that bad I'll give you that don't get cocky you necties all of you on me Hmm. I knew it. You mama's so tough. She may be fighting alone, but just like Gaviel, your everyday Arcosauria goonies are no match for her. But she is pretty cool. Anyway, you seem you seem like you know her pretty well, Tommy. Me. Yep, Zumama and Gaviel have always been the strongest around here. But as far as I know, Zumama has never managed to beat Gaviel. Right, Gaviel? Uh huh. Where's Gaviel? Hey, look! Over there! I saw her on my way here, isn't that? She really is back! You. Gaviel! Alright, that was not... <laughs> I could do that. I could do that better. I'm trying to avoid being loud. Not that I like being loud anyway, but... Trying to avoid disturbing my, uh... Housemates. But I can do that a little bit more, a little bit more, con or what's the word I'm looking for? Enthusiastically. Gaviol! Yes, even with a moderate volume. Ah, uh, Gaviol rushed onto the platform. Been a while, Zumama. Or should I call you the leader of the Unectes now? You came back, Gaviol. That's right. Mimi asked me to come back. Hold up, you know Sargonian? Since you're speaking Sargonian too, I guess this really is what they speak on the outside. I've been studying it for a long time. I thought you weren't ever going to come back. Oh, I'll come back. Not right now, but someday. This is my home, after all. Are you trying to become the Great Chief? Nope. I need you for something else. And I'm, I was going to wait until you were done. I didn't expect you to get this tough, though. How am I supposed to hold myself back from fighting you? Are you really a doctor now? Sure am. <laughs> I'm a pretty famous doctor out there. That's amazing. What about you? You didn't show up last time because you were tinkering with something, right? You done with that yet? Yeah. You'll get to see it very soon. <sighs> Did Gaviel say she wasn't going to fight her? <laughs> That's the Gaviel we know and love. Uh, it's true. You're as strong as I remember. <laughs> you ain't half bad either. But you rely on your fists too much. Oh? You can do all sorts of things with your fists, so you don't ever think of using anything else. That's what's holding you back. That's what's holding all of us back. What are you talking about? What I'm trying to say is, it's time for change. Just then, a thunderous, uniform roar reverberates through the forest. Something gigantic is approaching the temple. Whatever it is, it is slowly but surely stomping its way towards the temple. And although it has so far remained largely out of sight, it has already proven to be an imposing presence. You're strong, Gaviel. There's no doubt about that. I wasn't going to use this until after I took the throne. But I have to use it against you now. It doesn't matter. The end result will still be the same. 
This is going to bring us change. I got no idea what you're talking about, but I'm not going down that easy. Yes, you are. High Priest, aim. Fire. Well, what's that? It's cool is what it is. But yes, when we were saying that Tomimi was cool earlier, we were not lying. See, I told you, Gaviel. But using it against you isn't what I'm trying to accomplish here. We won't have a future if we always rely on our fists. From here on out, we're in the age of machines. Alright, I am excited to continue. But, I do think I do think I want to wrap up for the day. And so, yeah, so I think that does leave us at basically the point where I uh, wrapped up last time. Obviously, there's no more stages beyond this that I haven't seen. So, let us wrap up for the day, leave things on a little bit of a cliffhanger, and we will resume next week. But yes, so, all that being said, I suppose, yeah, anyway, eh. Arc Knights. But yes, stream has been good. Time to wrap up. If anyone has any raid suggestions, I would be delighted to hear them. If not, I can find one myself. And let's go over the schedule. So yes, so once again, next week, we should be continuing Arc Knights Wednesday. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for stopping by. So yes. Yes, once again, next week, we should be continuing Arc Nights, Wednesday, 8.30 p.m. Central Time. Then on Saturday, we should be continuing the collab series with Sheppy Sheps. As always, I will keep you informed, so keep an eye on the Twitter. But yes. Um, but yes. So, what will happen will happen when it happens, I suppose. That is the, the best way I can think to put it. But yes. Um... What else is there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sometime after 8 is when we're planning on the collab. We'll have to figure out more specifics at some point in the near future. But, uh, but yes. That is that, I suppose. But yeah. Anyway. So. I'm not seeing any raid target suggestions. So, I think tonight we are going to go and visit... Old M the Golem. Yes, playing some Elden Ring right now. Yeah, the I'm on an ad right now, so I can't see if it's uh, Elden Ring or Shadow of the Air Tree, necessarily. But, uh, but yeah, if you are someone who is watching out for spoilers for either of those, you might want to be careful. One way or the other, the raid shall happen. Full and the golem. Oops. Golem. That's how you spell golem. There we go. But yes. And the customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. Oops. There we go. So, thank you all for being here tonight. I hope that you've had a fine night. I hope that you continue to have a fine night every night. Pardon. And I hope that you'll be well till the next time I see you. Thank you all very much, and farewell. Let us get this raid underway.